Good morning. We're going to be unboxing my new Method 701 bead grip wheels for the Wagoneer project today. Alright, let's open this box. That's cool. Stick it right on top. Very well packaged. Look at that. Let me get the light over here. That is going to look awesome on the Wagoneer. Oh, let's pull it out. All right, so what makes a bead grip wheel different from a regular wheel? So if you look right here, see it's got like these little serrations all the way around the rim lip. And this uh, groove right here is a lot taller than it would be on most other rims. So once this is fully seated, this is gonna hold the lip of the tire a lot better than a regular rim. And they're completely DOT approved. So you don't have to worry about running bead locks on the street. And they're a little bit cheaper than a bead lock too. That's why I decided to go with these for the Wagoneer. It's gonna be an overland kind of vehicle, so I don't wanna have to worry about losing a bead if I'm far away from home. Now I can't wait to mount my new Falcon ET4Ws on those method rims and see what it looks like. I think it's gonna be awesome. This is a 34 inch tall tire. It's a 285 75 17. In reality, it works out to about a 33 and a half. It's listed as a 34, but all tire sizes aren't as advertised. Some of the cool new things about the AT4W is the three ply sidewall. The sidewall is much beefier than the AT3. Uh, the tread pattern is a little bit different, and we're now a load range C. All right, I say that's enough talking and let's get this tire mounted on this rim. With the bead grip, you want to be sure to lube both the tire and the rim generously so that it fully seats. Like I said, this is this lip is much higher than it is on regular rims, so it's going to take a little bit of extra force to try and get that tire to seat all the way. This is definitely a case where more is better. All right, time to grab the tire. Same thing with the tire. Really want to get a good coating of lubricant on the bead. All right, let's see if I can do this without knocking the tripod over. Yeah.
bring you guys in for a close up when that bead snaps. Come on. There it is. There's the bottom bead. There's 35 PSI. Well, I'm gonna put the camera away, get the other tires mounted up on the rims, and then we're gonna try them on the Wagoneer. Well, that looks a lot better.